Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip. With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. Octopus <laughs> in my neighborhood. Surfing on the sound wave. Swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Alligator nostril. I'm a magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Uh, Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic scuba. Wings are the difference between flying and not. If you have them, you can. If you don't, you cannot. With wings, you can soar and glide in the breeze. And dip and turn with incredible ease. De loop de loops and shoot through hoops. Fly upside down and roll around. And never, ever leave the sky. It's gonna crash! Nose up, Sam, nose up! Chill out, Wanda. I know how to fly this thing. I designed it, didn't I? Based on my dream, my idea. I drew up the plans. And I helped you build it. Any questions? Your baby's fine, Wanda. Not even a scratch. Someday you'll read about me. Wildcat Wanda, ace test pilot, queen of the clouds. Too bad the Frizz wasn't here to see the test flight. Woohoo! Oh, afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Miss Frizzle. Oh, I was just checking the wind conditions for today's model airplane show. Nothing like a little moving air to lift the spirits, I always say. And lift the plane. We might even win first prize with my new wing design. Wings are wings. What's the big deal? Try flying without them, Arnold. No thanks. I prefer walking. At least there's something holding me up. Ground, Arnold. Dull, dirty, boring ground. That's what's holding you up, but it's also keeping you down. Imagine being inside this plane, streaking through the air at hundreds of miles an hour with nothing but sky above and cloud below. Streaking through thin air, you mean? Come on, Arnold. It would be pretty hard to streak through fat air. <laughs> Carlos! Let's see. Wings and thin air. Now there's a combo that just might fly. Oh, no. You're not thinking about a field trip in Wanda's plane, are you, Miss Frizzle? Of course not, Arnold. I'm through thinking about it. <laughs> it's time to take chances, make mistakes, and fly like the wind. Oh, thank you, Liz. We can't all go, Miss Frizzle. Somebody has to stay here and operate the remote controls. Affirmative, Tim. That puts you in charge of the ground crew. I need two volunteers to stay with Tim. I'll stay, Miss Frizzle. I'll stay. Um. Oh, Phoebe, why don't you and Liz remain here? I was afraid you'd say that. Hmm. Oh. All set for proper shrinkage. Hit it, Phoebe. Me? Well, uh, here goes. Say fly. Fly! Wow! Amazing. Love it. Too bad every kid can't have a porta shrinker. Going up. Single file, please. <laughs> You're the best, Miss Frizzle. Ah, oh, the wild blue yonder is yours, Wanda. Go for it. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Tim did a great job. Yeah, he did. This is fantastic. There's even room for my books. Um, I 
think Tim forgot the parachutes. No need for parachutes, Arnold. Yeah! Not with Wildcat Wanda at the controls. Come on, Wanda. They're not real. They're only painted wood. Wood or not, we're going where no kid has gone before. Can we talk about this? Of course, Arnold. But right now, it's time to buckle up. <sighs> and fly right! You ready? All systems go! Contact. Roger. Prepare for an uplifting experience, class. And hold on to your hat! <laughs> Don't you ever listen? Whoa! Happy landing! We're up! We're flying! Wow! Feel that air moving past us! They don't call it an airplane for nothing, Keisha. Looking good, Tim. Can I try it? Sure, but be careful. This joystick moves the tail rudder back and forth, and the elevator's up and down. That's what steers the plane wherever you want it to go. Got it. Wonder how high it'll go. Whoa! We're slowing down! Oh my, what an air-raising development. The air's not moving as fast as it was before. According to my research, when a plane's nose tips up and slows down like this, it's called a stall. Stall? As in, stop flying? Hold it! If we stop flying, that means we start... Falling! It's stalling, Phoebe! Nose down, quick! You did it. What made it fall like that? No air moving past the wings. No moving air, no lift, rock fall. You pulled it out just in time. The queen of the clouds is back! I think I'm gonna be sick. You better bring them down, Tim. It's almost time to leave for the air show. Will do, Phoebe. Let's see. Where's a good place to land? Yeah! <laughs> Just me, or did Tim just smash the remote control? You mean we're flying without Tim? We weren't doing so great with him. Do something, Wanda. You got us into this. Help! What are we gonna do, Beep? I don't know. This never happened at my old school. Tim, baby, do something. Get us down. Choose one! We have to find our plane before something terrible happens. If Miss Frizzle were here, she'd know how to turn this bus into the best search and rescue plane ever built. We have wings, why aren't we flying? Because there's no air moving past the wings. I think we just passed my house. Take a good look, Carlos. It may be the last time you see it. Come on, you Weasley wimps. Where's your spirit of adventure? We're on the path to glory. How can we be on the path to anywhere if you can't steer? Hmm. Maybe this has something to do with the steering. <laughs> Maybe not. Ah! I hate it when this happens. Gotta take action. Get those wings down. Push your wing down, Carlos. I'm pushing. Stand by to lock, Ralphie. Standing by. Push. Whoa. Wings locked. Hang on. As my old flight instructor used to say, Two wings are better than none. I wish your old flight instructor were here now. 
Wait a second. If the wings are holding up the plane, what's holding up the wings? The same thing that's holding up Carlos. Moving air. Hey, I'm flying. Wow, I can feel the air lifting me up. Me too. why we're staying up. The bubbles are holding us up? Not the bubbles. It's the thin air moving across the wings that's pushing us up. Right, Miss Frizzle? You bet your windbreaker, Keisha. We all need a little lift now and then. Remember, Liz, we need a plane that flies. We're counting on you, Liz. <laughs> Right! You did it! Sort of. <coughs> what happened? We had ten wings! Why did we stay in the air? This heap is too heavy. Even if it had a hundred wings, it wouldn't get enough lift for the air to hold it up. Now there aren't even any wings. Anybody know where we are? We're lost. That's where we are. Lost in little. They won't find us even if they find us. Excuse me, but our propeller just stopped turning. According to my research, the propeller keeps us moving forward. Let me understand this. If the propeller isn't working, we slow down, right? And if we slow down, there's going to be less and less air moving across our wings. Exactly. And when there's no air moving across our wings, we... <gasps> ah! We could walk to where the plane is before Liz gets us up in the air. Whoa! We're up! But we aren't getting any higher. Uh-oh. Doesn't look like this plane has enough power to get us over. <gasps> City <laughs> Top flight, Liz. Yeah! Nice going, Wanda. We'll be little model kids forever! Instead of being queen of the clouds, you should be queen of the trees. Oh, yeah? Well, Wildcat Wanda never gives up. Come on, guys. What made us fly before? Um... Air moving across the wings. Roger! And moving air causes lift. Double Roger! Come on, Wanda. The only way this plane's gonna move is if it falls out of the tree. Ralphie's right. There's no moving air if we're not moving. Oh, the joys of flight. Look at the power of those wings. That's it, Miss Frizzle. We can use that bird to tow us up, up, and away. Only one problem. How do we stay up? Yeah, how does a bird stay up? It doesn't have a propeller to move it forward. By flapping its wings? Exactly. The propeller does for a plane what flapping wings do for a bird. But our propeller isn't turning. Ah, oh, look what I found. Wait! I've got it! Pedal power! Once we get up in the air, we can turn the propeller ourselves. What a splendid idea! They could be anywhere, Tim. We'll never find them. Charles Lindbergh flew across the Atlantic Ocean in a plane like this all by himself, and he never gave up. You're right, Tim. We will find them. I'll drive. Pedals in place, Miss Frizzle. Ready for takeoff. 
Have a seat, Arnold. Prepare for bird-assisted takeoff. As my grandmother Frida used to say, a bird on the branch is worth two on the ranch. keep you from falling. You can do it, Arnold. You've got the experience. The know-how. The right stuff. Gee, it's nice to be needed. Whoa! What was that? I think we're flying over the model airplane show. Actually, Wanda, I think we are in the show. We're losing altitude, Arnold. Elevators out. Look at that, John. I've never seen a maneuver like it. <gasps> Amazing. Look at all those planes up ahead. Great, it's the model airplane show. Tim, look. It's them. They're in the show. They're also in trouble. How can you tell? Because nobody's ever done a triple ammo man with a double outside loop. We've got to save them. Do something, Liz. I hope they see us. See us? This plane is so big, it could be a planet. It's Liz! She wants us to land! Take us down! Wildcat? Roger, Miss Frizzle! Head home! I'm 
getting too pooped to pedal. Me too. Next time, I want to be the pilot. We're dropping too fast. Make left, Arnold. Left. Making left. Nose up, Arnold. Nose up. Nose up. Too high, Arnold. We're going to stall. Bring down the elevator. Elevator's down. Yes. Level out, Arnold. Pedal harder, guys. We need to keep our air Wildcat, you are flying! We're coming in, Liz! Ease off the elevators, Arnold! Easing off! Hold your speed tip! They're coming down! Speed steady! <laughs> An inventive performance. Way to go, Wanda. All right, Wildcat. Hey, where's Liz? Way, Way to, to go, go, Liz. To both birds and planes, wings are a gift. Air rushing across them gives them a lift. But even with wings, you need power for speed. While a propeller must pull for the flight to succeed. And I must say that steering, I almost forgot, is what makes you go where you want to. Or not. Thank you. And thank you, Wanda. It gives me great pleasure to present the grand prize for model airplane excellence to you and Tim. Not only for constructing a plane with superior design and exceptional maneuverability, but for incredible aerobatic ingenuity. What a show. Thank you, but this trophy belongs to everyone in our class. We couldn't have won it without them. Right, Miss Frizzle? Well, as I always say, sometimes you have to do the wrong stuff to find out what the right stuff really is. Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic the magic school bus. 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 Magic School Bus, the producer speaking. Hi, I just watched your show on flight and it really blew me away. But I do have a few questions. Roger. My name isn't Roger. Well, I I'm not saying it is. Roger is just another way of saying right or okay in pilot lingo. Gotcha. And now about those planes the bus turned into. They were ridiculous. Nobody could have ever flown them. Well, believe it or not, those were real planes. Now sure, the first two didn't get off the ground, but the Wright Flyer was the first airplane to actually fly. Okay, well, I mean, Roger. Here's something for you. Steering a bird or a plane is a lot more complicated than you showed. You got that right. Take airplanes for openers. They have movable flaps on the wings as well as on the tail. Raise one flap up and the other one down and the wing rises for a banking turn to the right. Reverse the flaps and the plane will bank to the left. Oh, I get it. But here's something I don't get. How does a bird fly? <laughs> Good question. The movement of a bird's wing is so complicated, it took stop-motion photography to figure it out. Birds use their wings both for lift and for push forwards. Roger, but you didn't say anything about the hardest part of flying, landing. Well, we showed it, but we didn't talk about it. To land, you have to slow down and fly close to the ground. Reduce your lift so you slowly sink until your wheels touch the ground. Then cut the power and apply the brakes. But landing isn't always easy. Even birds mess up once in a while. 
Lizards, too. <laughs> hey, thanks for calling the Magic School Bus. Keep watching and keep them flying. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wilder. 